Hey guys, Friendly Neighborhood Horror Crimson here. Um, I've been a bit sick lately, so my voice is gone. And if I don't talk in a certain way, like a very, very specific way, my voice will just fly it right out the window. And it's stupid. So, um, my voice messes up like that a lot. Bear with me. I always try and get my voice back on track. Anyway. To the topic, those of you who still have Win Mugen, for whatever reason, my, like, whether your computer can't run 1.0, or, or, like, the RC Mugen, or whatever, or your favorite stages, or screen packs, life bars, characters, whatever, don't work on Mugen 1.0, still use Win Mugen. You may have this music problem. Now, I'm not sure if the new Mugen has it or not, but I know tons of people have a music problem with Win Mugen. And all these videos out there don't quite. All the videos about fixing. About fixing. Ugh, about fixing that problem. They usually don't include Vista, or they're horrible quality, or they don't work. Um. I just had a problem with it moments ago, and I was looking all through YouTube, and I was like, I had to combine a couple of videos together to get what I wanted. You may have heard about the task of har hardware acceleration, but some people might know like their, their uh, drivers won't allow them to change their hardware acceleration. So I'm going to show you an easy way to fix it that anyone in my general knowledge who can run Mugen can do it. Um, the only exception might be those who modded their Xbox to play it because I have no clue how that works yet. Um, Alright, so let's do this. First of all, you want to get some plugins. Now, the I've uploaded the plugins to the internet already. Cool enough. Um, you can find them here on eSnips. I will post a link in the description. I'll post all these links in the description. Make things easier for you, of course. Um, most people don't have the plugins up for download. You gotta find them yourself, which is really stupid. So I went over, I scouted the web, I found them all, put them in zip folder for you guys, throw them up here on eSnips. So I'll put that in the description. That'll be cool. Go. And um, let's see. Go to Battle Cry. Inside the zip folder will be the plugins folder. You just drag it in here. Like, hold on. I am being stupid right now because I'm treating you all like your four year olds. Um, but some people just might not get it, and that's fine. So I gotta go into detail. Go second skipping. Like me, like if I going through a really long tutorial, I'll just go skip to like I'll just go skip parts of the video until I find what I want. Um, okay, so I don't care folder, plugins folder. Just drag in the plugins folder to the drag in the plugins folder to your Mugen folder, not to your sound folder. What the hell? Ah, uh, yeah. Back, back. Thank you. Yeah, just drag it in, wherever. Um, you want to merge? Yes. Then you do check, do this for all conflicts. If you're using this stuff, and then hit copy and replace. And let it do its thing. Ta-da! You'll have your plugins. Then comes the next part: installing your plugins. Go to your data folder, your Mugen data folder, and go to Mugen.cfg. Now I've already got it set to automatically open Notepad, but some people don't. So make sure you have you open it and open it with Notepad. Okay. And you'll be in your friendly, not so friendly, um, Notepad configuration file. Press Control and F at the same time, and you'll have your find window. 
type in plugin space and then the equal sign and hit find next close that and then you're gonna want to scroll down so you come up with list something like this for all it'll usually have like this first line maybe a couple more something like this I've got another notepad file ah not what I want to do yeah you usually have like something like this um I have another notepad file the entire list that you need to copy paste and I'll have that in the description too so you copy and you paste yeah you copy that and you paste it here I just hit copy damn it copy paste thank you sorry six on brain dead I just hope this quality isn't shit <laughs> because that's the why I'm why I'm making this video is because all the other ones are crap. All right, so you've put in your plugin folder, and at this point, most of your songs you save it, and most of your songs should work. You go to run your game. Wait 90 hours for it to load. You'll come into this training, I'll be Ryu, you'll be Sekiro. And music's working. It's off. Yeah. However, it won't I know I can't even notice that it won't work for everything. <laughs> it won't work for everything. Alright. Sorry, my voice. Okay. So what I did was I go to options. No, I don't go to options. That was me being stupid. Anyway, it won't work for every stage. As you notice, let me go. Let me go my... I notice it doesn't work for this stage. The song here is all like skip different parts and mesh it all like remeshing the song together. It's just not playing. And no matter what plugins I put in there, it won't do it. But I have a fix for it. I mean, it's a bit of a cheat, but there's a fix. Let's get out of the game. Alright. Now it tends to be that song is a MP3 file. For some reason it seems that Mugen has a better understanding of OGG files than it does MP3. So what you need to do is you need to convert. If you have a song that's screwing up, you got to convert it to OGG. This is actually a lot easier than you may think. I'll post the link in the description. There's a free audio converter you can get, which works amazing by DVD VideoSoft. Absolutely free. It's virus free. It's catch cash free. Catch free. It's a win-win situation. And um, download a year. Really fast download. Installs almost instantly. Well, okay, no, not instantly. Installs in like two minutes. And then go. Just open that up. Uh, da da. Keep the video soft. Um, programs. Free audio. Audio converter. All right, and then you have this beautiful um, studio screen. You go to Add Files. You add the MP3 file you want to add, or whatever file, the music file you want to add. We'll come up here. Make sure you go to. Um, save to you it won't necessarily have the same place that your file is in so you gotta make sure you change it to whatever you want 
wherever you want the out, output file to be. Formats, there's so many formats. Choose OGG. And then you can choose the quality of it. I didn't choose optimal quality. It works pretty well and it's pretty fast. It gets done pretty fast as well as sounds good. So then you just say convert. Let's process it. <clears throat> I got this bottle of water I'm trying to help me here. But it's failing me. And it's done. Conversion done. And of course, you have to be sure to remember to keep the folder open. Of course, you have to remember to go to your stage and change your .gaf so that it does OGG. What did I, I hit control F instead of control S. Okay. Control S. Thank you. Alright. That's done. Run it again. Now the music runs properly. So yeah, though that's how you fix it. I'll post all the links in the description. Um, the description should be detailed so that if you if this video does end up crap quality, you got that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And okay, seriously. How Destroying itself right now. Right. Thank you for watching my horrible video. And go check out one of my LPs. They're awesome. Especially Castlevania. Bye.